There's been a lot of talk about the New England Patriots wide receivers group for the upcoming season. I'm Sierra Goodwill here with Evan Lazar. We have trusty old Julian Edelman, but then there's also a lot of players who are expected to take significant jumps in their second year as Patriots, including Nikhil Harry, Mohamed Sanu, and Jacoby Myers. Who has the most to prove this upcoming season? Well, it's definitely Nikhil Harry. I think that this is probably the easiest one out of all of these that we're going to do. Listen, he proved that he is a very elusive ball carrier. When you get the ball in his hands, he can really make plays with it. But the issue that he was having, obviously, was creating separation and at the line of scrimmage and at the top of his route so that they have opportunities to get him the ball down the field and let him create with it, other than on end arounds or jet sweeps or scheme touches or throws behind the line of scrimmage. They need to figure out how he can get separation down the field and start using his skills after the catch in more explosive variety of ways. And I think that that's going to be the biggest thing going into this season for this offense to take that next step is for Nikhil Harry to really take that next step. And we've talked about what he's been doing all off season, with the trainers down in Houston with Justin Allen and the footwork King and all that kind of stuff. So he's preparing himself for a breakout year, but the Patriots are pretty much counting on him having a breakout season. And we saw a flash of what Mohamed Sanu can be before he ultimately suffered that injury that kind of limited his production the rest of the season with the Patriots last year. So he's expected to make a significant jump, as I said. And they also signed Demir Bird and Marquise Lee this offseason. Out of that group, do you see an X factor amongst this wide receivers group? Well, I wanted to go with my guy, Demir Bird, because I really do think that he's got the chance to take this group by storm and take that Philip Dorsett role and maybe even evolve it a little bit into something even better than what it was when Dorsett was here. But I actually think Sanu is probably the biggest X factor, just getting him back to that original form that he was in before the high ankle sprain last year, getting him to a point where he can be a number two or a number three receiver in this system. That's going to go a long way just for consistency sakes. You know, they really need a guy other outside of Edelman that on third down they can go to and make a play. You know, they need that next guy to really step up and be the guy when Edelman's double teamed or Edelman's getting the number one corner on the opposition or getting all the kind of game planned sort of scheme ways to, you know, we're going to take Julian out of this game. Someone else is going to have to step up. I think the kill Harry is going to be more of like their big play guy. And they're going to need Sanu to kind of be a second chain mover outside of Julian Edelman and getting him healthy and getting him on that right track and upward trajectory again like he was really after the Baltimore game last year, the first couple of games he was here in New England, that's going to be the key for them. They're really expecting a lot out of that duo, Harry and Sanu. Bill Belichick said it after the draft that basically they didn't draft a receiver because they're expecting those two guys to have huge roles and really blossom into those roles moving forward. So there's a lot riding on Sanu and Harry. Absolutely. And we'll continue to reset the Patriots roster on our website at clnsmedia.com and on our YouTube channel at Patriots Press Pass.